Hi friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share with you how I wash our dining, like clean our kitchen, the living area, and also do some laundry. So our area is a open area. Our house is a open house, like the dining, the kitchen, the living area are all in one big room. But to make my work easier, I try to work in each place uh, separately. I realize that makes it easier for me. So like now I started with our dining. So I moved stuff away, sweep. So I sweep and then mop and then put everything back to their place then go to the next region and like where you know you can decide to like let's say sweep the whole house and then come and mop the whole house i don't do that because i realized it in my situation it makes me work double like for example if i have to move the dining table so i'll have to move it to sweep and then move it again to mop so i stopped doing that so i this is what i do right now so in our dining area i just clean the tv stand pick up any big trash and then because we have carpet there i do carpet and then uh, the other thing is that i have to put uh clothes away for some reason we are always having our clothes our kids clothes in our living area i don't know if this happens to you guys especially if your bedrooms are upstairs and then you're just grabbing their clothes downstairs and you know over time they pile so i have to pick those up i like using this mop because i don't have to touch water that's just what i like i don't sometimes i just mop like with that with that uh, an old towel especially if i want to do things faster so one of the things i realized that makes works really easy like after sweeping uh, you can sweep everything to one spot like i did here and then sort the things there it's easier instead of running around the house picking stuff and then instead of trying to you know collect all the dirt with your sweeper with your uh, broom you can you just mop, vacuum everything up like i'm doing here so that really makes it easier welcome to our laundry room this is how it looks like it's not in the best I guess you can do better than this but one day I'll plan for it so this is our washing machine and of course I have some graffiti there some decoration <laughs> then our washer I had already started loading it yeah our washer is really old we've had it for so long we moved with it here it's even rusting and also the inside is also dripping some water like drops of water from somewhere I don't know so we have to budget for that but our washer our dryer is pretty new the other one died so we had to buy another one it's maybe two years old I don't know maybe but this one is really the washer is really old because it's uh we got it in 2018 and we got it from a, a resale shop like where they sell secondhand things it's still serving us though we have not had any issues it's just that you know the the rust see the rusting so i'm thinking soon it's gonna be a problem so we need to budget for that so how i do my laundry here i have my towels and then I have dark clothes here, not necessarily dark clothes, it's most of the time I have these clothes. 
they are he goes to the field and they usually muddy so I separate them and then I got the bright ones here my kids this is why I put my clothes from work because I don't I try to not mix them and then I usually have a lot for beddings sometimes when uh, I don't have a lot of beddings to wash. I wash them together with the towels. But it seems today I have this big thing here. We call it a quilt here. I'll call it anything, a comforter, whatever. So I'm gonna wash the bedding separate and the towels separate. So for me, I will start with my light clothes here. this for our laundry it makes my work really easy I don't have to deal with the liquids and it just does a good job just one pod is enough for a load but if you have a lot of clothes or really dirty clothes you need like two pods we buy in bulk from a you know, membership club these are from Sam's Club So I did not have a lot of clothes today for some reason. I can't figure out why. So because I don't have a lot of clothes, I'll have I will add this bed sheet to the to the light or I call them light clothes. Yep. And then let that run. And then next it will be my towels. I'll run these towels because there are only three of them. I'll run them with that duvet. Yep, and all my clothes I run them. All my clothes I run them in cold with cold water. This is not a big wash, I would say it's just a large or medium. the signal to remind me then I most of our clothes actually we run them on regular I set the alarm to remind me that I'm running clothes <laughs> so we'll be back when that cycle is done you know like you uh, run clothes before and then after like three four hours you've not remembered to dry them <laughs> That happens a lot with me, especially if I'm watching something downstairs. Yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. So when I come back, I will run the towels. And I might not run this dark clothes today, just because there are only three trousers.
So guys, <laughs> uh, my <clears throat> work clothes are done. However, my towels are not yet completely dry. But since both of them were a, a small load, I will just mix them together when drying. I'll mix them together. And if you guys, if you guys do so, uh, for my for my towels, I use bleach. I use bleach for my towels, including the towels that are not white. <clears throat> One of the things that I learned is that if I add bleach here, like where it's supposed to go, it won't destroy my non-white towels but if i just pour a bleach inside that's gonna destroy your your non-white towels so i'm just gonna uh, change the setting here because this is still too long i don't want this echo to stay anymore check it out maybe i should just keep it so that's running so my final batch today <clears throat> my final batch today is going to be my kids clothes for those I don't use bleach Unless they are white. So, for this one, this is an old washer. It doesn't have compartments for soap. So, like, you just have to throw soap in there. Tight cords. I like this so much. I don't have to deal with the mess of um, liquid soap. And it does a good job. And, uh, it's really affordable if you do the if you buy it's really affordable if you buy from a wholesale club like Sam's Club so like you see you still have two packs inside this pack is halfway this pack alone has how many let's see uh, this pack alone has 42 so this is like enough more than enough for a month for me. I still have two packs in here. This wholesale buying is just money saver. So yeah. So that's what I do. My clothes, my kids' clothes are not many, so I'll just put them at small. They are not many this time. I will add something. I will add a few socks from my husband's clothes. And then uh, uh, these trousers, there are only four of them. I might try and run them tomorrow. So these ones, I'll put them back here. And guys, I didn't show you. Uh, I didn't show you. Let me show you now. So, those are running right now. So, I, uh, my kids' clothes are like less than medium. They are less than half way. So, they are more of a small. So, I'll run them. And then guys, I have a bucket, basket here in this closet. In this closet, I store towels, mostly. I store towels. So in here, I have that bucket for the days when I wash and I don't feel like folding. So I just throw the clothes in there. Or if somebody washes in the middle of the week, and they are not going to fold. I just tell them to put them in there. I'll fold them at my own time. I realized this hack, it has really saved me. 
like I used to leave clothes here, clean clothes here, right here on the floor, because I need to wash. So we need to use the dryer and clean clothes are essential. We just leave them here on the home. I'll clean them. But then it takes two days with the clothes just on the floor. So that half there of having an extra bucket somewhere just to hold anything that has not been taken care of in, on time really does help. So guys, that's how I do my laundry. My laundry day, as you have seen, I just do laundry and while doing other things like today I was just talking to people on the phone. Sometimes I'm editing my videos. Sometimes I'm just cooking or cleaning downstairs as clothes run here. So, but yeah, today I didn't have much to do when I had missed my people. So I was on the phone with my brother who has a WhatsApp. We were on WhatsApp. So yeah, that's it guys. We'll See you again. I will be doing something else this evening. I think that's it for laundry. I just need to fold those.